Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, circle with radius uh, 3 units as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, these line segments AC and BC are tangent to the very same uh, circle. And moreover, this angle ACB is uh, 60 degrees. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and connect uh, this center O with these uh, points of tangency A and with this uh, point B as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram. And we can see that this uh, OA and this OB are the radii of this uh, circle. And we know our radius is 3 units. So therefore this side is 3 and this is 3 units as well. And moreover we can see that this is our green sector. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees as you can see in this uh, diagram. So therefore our these angles, this angle and this angle are going to be 90 degrees each since uh, these are the radii and these are our tangent uh, lines. And now let's recall the two tangent uh, theorem. According to this theorem if two tangent segments uh, are drawn to one circle from the very same external point uh, then they are congruent uh, as you can see in this uh, diagram. Therefore in our case uh, this line segment AC is going to be congruent to this side BC. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, quadrilateral uh, OABC. And we know that the sum of all its angles are equal to 360 degrees. And we know that this angle is 90 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees as well. And this angle is 60 degrees. So therefore this remaining angle has got to be 120 degrees because the sum of all these four angles equal to 300 and 60 degrees. So therefore this angle AOB turns out to be 120 degrees. And now since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, yellow shaded region and we can see the area of this uh, yellow shaded region is uh, equal to the quadrilateral OABC area as you can see this one minus uh, the green sector area as you can see over here. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, quadrilateral uh, AOBC and the area of this uh, green sector. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and connect uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, C as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram. And as a result we can see that these two right triangles uh, triangle this uh, OAC and this uh, triangle uh, OBC are congruent uh, triangles according to side angle side uh, congruency theorem. As we can see that these are the radii, these are equal in length uh, and these are our 90 degrees angle uh, in between these two sides. And now since these two triangles are congruent so therefore uh, this angle uh, has got to be equal to this angle. So the total angle is 120 degrees. So this angle has got to be 60 degrees and likewise this angle has got to be 60 degrees as well. And moreover this angle has got to be 30 degrees and this angle is going to be 30 degrees as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle OAC and I have copied this uh, right triangle over here and we can see that this is our special uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle and we can see this 30 degree is our smallest angle. So therefore the opposite side to this angle is going to be our smallest uh, leg. And also we can see that this uh, 90 degree is our largest angle. So therefore the side opposite to this angle is going to be our longest uh, leg. 
And in such kind of 30, 60, 90 triangle, always remember that the largest side is twice the smallest side. If we assume that the smallest side is one unit, then this largest side is got to be two units. And now we can easily calculate this side by using the Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this side a, this side b and this longest leg side c. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So a square plus b in our case is 1. So 1 square and c is 2 square. So a square plus 1 equals to 4. So let's go ahead and subtract 1 from both sides. This is gone. So a square turns out to be 3. Let's take the square root on both sides. So our a value turns out to be square root of 3. So therefore our this AC side turns out to be square root of 3. And now we can see our this OA side is 3 units. So therefore we are going to multiply across the board by 3 over here. So therefore this side length turns out to be 3 times 1 is 3 units. This turns out to be 3 times 2 is 6 units. And this is 3 times square root of 3 units. So therefore our this side length AC turns out to be 3 times square root of 3. So this is our side AC which is going to be 3 times square root of 3. And likewise since these are congruent sides so this side is going to be 3 times square root of 3 as well. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this right triangle OAC. Now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half time base uh, times a height. And in our case, uh, our base is uh, 3 times square root of 3 and our height uh, is uh, 3. So therefore the area of this triangle uh, OAC is going to be a half uh, times uh, base is uh, 3 times uh, square root of 3 times uh, height is 3 units. So therefore let's go ahead and simplify. That is going to give us uh, 9 times the square root of 3 divided by 2. And we know that these uh, two triangles are uh, congruent. So therefore the area of this other triangle uh, OBC is going to be same area. So it's going to be at 9 times the square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore the area of this uh, whole quadrilateral uh, AOBC is going to be the sum of uh, the area of these two triangles. So let's go ahead and add the area of these two triangles. So let me go ahead and write down 9 times the square root of 3 divided by 2 and plus 9 times the square root of 3 divided by 2. Let's go ahead and add them up. So that is going to give us 9 times the square root of 3. So therefore the area of this quadrilateral AOBC turns out to be 9 times the square root of 3. And now we are going to calculate the area of this green sector. And now let's recall the sector area formula. Sector area equals to theta divided by 360 degrees times pi r square. And in our case our angle theta is 120 degrees. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of the green sector. So theta is 120 degrees divided by 360 degrees times pi times radius r is 3 units whole square. And here we can see 120 degrees divided by 360 degrees. This simply reduces to 1 over 3. So let's go ahead and simplify. So we are going to get uh, on the numerator 9 pi divided by 3 which simplifies to 3 pi. So therefore our area for this uh, green sector turns out to be 3 pi. And here's our final step. Now we can easily calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region because we figured out our this uh, quadrilateral uh, AOBC area and this uh, green sector area as you can see over here. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So our uh, yellow area turns out to be equal to 9 times uh, 
square root of 3 minus 3 pi. So this the area of this uh, yellow shaded region turns out to be 9 times the square root 3 minus 3 pi square units and that is approximately equal to 6.16 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.